you know, and in Buddhism, it's more like all of us can become enlightened even right now. Mm. So it's we're on an equal footing here, right there. Much more interesting. Mm. Uh, so, so uh, and the philosophy of, and they talk a lot about consciousness. So they have uh, eye consciousness, smell, mouth. So these five senses, and then they have the mental consciousness, which is about thinking. You know, like mental, just thinking about stuff, science. But then they also have something they call the afflictive consciousness, depending on which school of Buddhism, because there's a whole bunch of them. And that's kind of like a form of consciousness that we use to find our way around this reality. Like we label this as a camera, we label this as a microphone, this is a coffee. But if I take this apart, then if I put flowers in it, then it's not a coffee cup anymore. Then the same thing is suddenly a vase. But it's the same thing. Mm. Yeah, or uh, if I take it apart, it becomes plastic. If I take that apart, it becomes atoms. And you can do this at infinitum, and suddenly then you realize th th there is nothing. There isn't anything here. <laughs> yeah, Beca right. Because all we do is label it. Mm. It's a label. Yeah. So suddenly then you get this weird sense of unreality thing. Is uh, what is any of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all just clumps of... Atoms, atoms, and, and atoms. some some of them are clumped together, and some of them are not. Yeah, and atoms are <laughs> or most more densely packed, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, and, and atoms are mostly empty space. Yeah, true. Yeah, and then when you go even further, then it becomes quarks, and when you go further, it becomes vibrating particles, and then it's like literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a wave, isn't it? At the bottom, or something. It's, it's it's like so. The question becomes, what what is this? <laughs> you know. So then, so that's why they call it this afflictive consciousness because what it does, it labels things so we can find our way around reality because mm. it is still real, even though logically we realize that maybe it's not even anything. <laughs> we have to deal with it. 